Hi guys, welcome to A Touch of Film. A uh, very special uh, day today, very special vlog. Um, I'm going to a special screening. I keep saying the word special, yeah, but it is a very special screening of still walking, which is going to be followed by a Q&A session with the man himself, Hirokazu Kurida, um, one of my favorite directors. Um, probably at the moment, he's the most important uh, director in Asia at the moment, uh, he's he just won the, the Palm Door at the Cannes Film Festival, so it's relative. So yeah, very important. His film's been uh, nominated for Oscars, uh, uh, Baftas, and he's just like he's doing really well at the moment with the, with his pre last film, Shoplifters. Um, Still Walking is my personal favourite of his, well, one of my personal favourites of his uh, work. Um, absolutely amazing film with uh, great performances by Abe, uh, Kieran Kiki, it's just like an absolute perfect movie. I, I'm going to put the link below, I did a uh, masterpiece session with it, this movie, with uh, Still Walking, which was just absolutely, you know, it's, it's, it, I, I, this, the masterpiece sessions is like my favourite movies which I consider masterpieces, so that was included in it, it was the first Kureida movie that was in um, in there I probably will include others of his m movies but yeah th uh, this is just I'm really excited for uh, I wouldn't not have known about this if it wasn't for Dion from uh, that movie guy so thank you for him to for sending me the link like he let me know the day before the tickets went on sale and they sold out like that so yeah absolutely pumped for this um, yeah, can't wait to get in. Yeah, let's go in and uh, check it out, guys. Hi guys, so I just got back last night. Um, got back quite late, so I didn't get a chance to film this video. But yeah, what a night. Absolutely amazing. Uh, Kurida is just, just such an amazing guy. I mean, he's made some of my favorite movies, uh, from Japanese movies. Uh, so yeah, we watched um, Still Walking, and you just, you know, because I don't watch it as often, you just, you, you forget how amazing the performances are. Um, like Hiroshi uh, Abe's, performance is outstanding uh, he's just he's superb I mean you've got Yoshio Harada who do you know he's like if you're into Nikatsu films uh, and uh, like the, the old you know grindhouse type uh, exploitation movies from Japan he was really big in those movies and he gives probably oh, just a standout performance in this as well and of course you have the great Kirin Kiki uh, in this uh, in the Q&A Karida was talking about his relationship with Kirin Kiki how she's quite catty um, when he had meet her like outside of filming his all they would be talking all she would be talking about is so and so's plastic surgery, how bad it is. Uh, have you seen the, her performance in that film? It was terrible. So she's quite catty, but quite a funny character from the way that uh, Karida uh, spoke about her. And also the way that they came together for Still Walking, because Still Walking was uh, sort of like a project of Karida's, uh, which was based on his family life. Um, he lost his uh, his uh, mother and at the same time uh, Kieran Kiki lost a very close person to her, a director that she worked with very closely uh, yeah so and it really brought them together and of course he put her in, a lot in uh, his movies uh, also I completely forgot about this the, like there's the sushi delivery driver is actually Susuma Terajima who if you watch uh, Takashi Kitano films, he's in pretty much most of his great movies. Uh, uh, you know, like Son and Teen and uh, 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 like the, um, just so many of his great movies. And it was so cool to have 
you know, to see him there not being a Yakuza gangster. But yeah, great, uh, great movie. And uh, we also saw a trailer for uh, Mabarosi, which is the, uh, well, it's, it's Corrida's first film, but it's finally getting more of a, uh, it's got a UK license now. Um, so we're gonna see that being released by the BFI. The BFI also talking about the showcase of their uh, Blu-ray box set, which will have uh, Steel Walking and Mabarosi and uh, some of his earlier films. Um, he also spoke about a TV show he did, which was Lessons from a Calf, which also starred Hiroshi Abe. And it was very, uh, it's the, the only guy in the audience who had seen it was saying how it's uh, very influenced by Irish culture the music the like the the, the use of like uh, 40 clo clovers and like little short people with cold which like leprechauns uh, but the highlight of the night for me is I actually met um, Corrida I had a picture taken with him and he was so kind enough to sign my copy of um, still walking the plane archive edition if you can see that there um, absolutely buzzing for that that is that is amazing um, to actually get something signed by the biggest director in Asia uh, of last year and you know it's just so amazing to actually meet him as well have my picture taken with him it's such a cool guy so yeah guys that is my uh, video from the Q&A of Hirokazu Kurida as well as watching Still Walking. Uh, links below to Dion from uh, that movie guy because he uh, set me up, well, he, didn't, he, he, he alerted me to this. So yeah, thank you so much, uh, Dion, for that. Um, you top guy. Uh, also, my link to my uh, masterpiece session of uh, Still Walking, so check that out. Check out Dion. Uh, hit that subscribe button, comment below if you're a fan of his, of Corrida, uh, what's your favourite Corrida movie, uh, yeah, and click that like button, and I'll see you in the next video guys, take it easy.